Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a new Tadi Crochet World and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment on my videos and today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for hand mittens, hand gloves. This is the fingerless hand gloves and it goes on really well like this. A beautiful pattern. Now here... For this particular pattern, I've used my 100% cotton yarn and for this project, I've used a 3.5 mm of the hook. So let's begin. So here we will start our project with a slip knot. So just have a slip knot and here we're going to chain up 11. So chain up 11, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 have 11 chains and now we're going to turn our work and this is the back part of my first chain and this is the back part of my second chain we're going to skip our first chain and we will go to this second chain insert your hook into this second chain grab a yarn and have one single crochet go to this next chain insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet and now keep on having one single crochet into each chain and by the end of this row, row number one, we're going to have our 10 single crochets. And I'm going to meet you after that. One single crochet into each chain. Here it is. I've got my this 10 single crochets. And now for my round number or round number two, chain one, turn your work. And this is my chain one. This is my first stitch. So we'll go to this first stitch and we will insert our hook into the back loop of our this first stitch. And grab your yarn and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops. This is your first single crochet back loop only. And now onwards, we're going to have our one single crochet into each stitch. And our all stitches will be back loop only stitches. So we're going to have one single crochet back loop only on each stitch from the previous round. Until our row number 28. So keep on repeating your row number 2 until your round number 28 now here i'm gonna make my this uh, project my this um hand gloves for a small size for a small adult size but if you want to go for a medium or a large size uh, always measure up your uh, project always measure up your wrist size this one with your number of rows so here i'm gonna have my 28 rows so i'm gonna repeat my this row number two until my row number 28 that will be my row in multiple of four so if you want to go further and if you want to have a medium or a large size please have your number of rows in multiple of four so here this is my second row i'm going to repeat my second row until my row number three so just chain one turn your work go to this first stitch take the back loop insert your hook into the back loop grab a yarn and have one single crochet and now keep on having one single crochet uh, back loop only into each stitch and each row will have 10 single crochets all back loop only stitches and i'm gonna meet you after my row number 28 remember i'm doing this size uh, the adult small size so if you want to go for a medium or a large size just measure up your um, number of rows and just have your rows in multiple of four and i'm gonna meet you after my row number 28 and here it is after my row number 28 it looks like this and now i will have chain one here and now we will attach our this two parts together so for that one just turn your work have your chain one here and insert your hook into this first stitch this is your foundation chain remember while doing the row number one we have taken the back loop of our uh, this foundation chains and that's why we got our this two loops here so here Take this uh, chain, this is your first chain, and insert your hook into this first stitch here. Take both the parts, both the loops here, like this. Grab a yarn and have one slip stitch here. Go to this next stitch. Have this foundation chain. Insert your hook into the second foundation chain and the second stitch of your this second part. And grab a yarn and have one slip stitch and now keep on having one slip stitch on each stitch from both the sides and here you're gonna have 10 slip stitches and i'm gonna meet you at the end here it is i got my this 10 slip stitches here now chain one and here i'm just gonna turn my work so turn your work and this part you know, this uh, slip stitches will go inside so here it is this is your front side it will look like this so have it this first chain one and i'm just gonna turn my work here because we're gonna work in the front 
here now as we are having this chain one just go to this first stitch here first row now our each row will have a stitch so here go to this first row insert your hook grab the yarn and have one single crochet here and this is your first single crochet of your round number one for uh, this hand gloves and if you want you can have a stitch marker you can always have a stitch marker if you think that you might will miss out your stitch just put this stitch, stitch marker here so here have a stitch marker and go to this second row this is your second row and i'm going to insert my hook into my the second row like this and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have one single crochet here i will go to this next one this is my next row and i will grab the yarn and we'll have one single crochet and now keep on having one single crochet into each row here and by the end you're going to have your 28 stitches or if you're having this hand gloves in other size in medium size or in large size and whatsoever number of rows you have been having you're going to have exact number of stitches exact number of single crochets here just remember to have your rows in multiple of four so that you will have your stitches in multiple of four and i'm going to meet you by the end of this row round round number one with my 28 single crochets here here it is i've got my this 28 single crochets here and this is my first single crochet and that's why i put my this stitch marker here so i'm just gonna take out the stitch marker and we'll insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here and that's how we're going to finish over this round round number one with our single crochets and now for our round number two chain one and insert your hook again into that same stitch where you have made your this slip stitch into your first stitch of your round number one and just grab the yarn and have one single crochet now this is your first single crochet of your round number two if you want you can put the stitch marker back on now we are going to skip our next stitch so skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that yarn over and insert your hook and have three double crochets here so have this first double crochet yarn over go to that same stitch and have your this second double crochet yarn over and go to that same stitch and have your this third double crochet so into that same stitch have three double crochets and now again we will skip over this next stitch and into the stitch after that we're going to have one single crochet here now we will skip our next stitch and into the stitch after that we are going to have three double crochets so it's one two three again skip your next stitch and into the stitch after that have one single crochet again skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that have three double crochets one two and three skip your next stitch and into the stitch after that have one single crochet and now keep on repeating this pattern until the end of this round round number two and i'm gonna meet you here at the end and here it is this is my last three double crochets and now i'm gonna skip my this next stitch and this two stitches this is your slip stitch and your chain one so we are not gonna count this two as our stitch so skip your this next stitch and here we're going to take out our the stitch marker and this is our first stitch of our round number two so we will insert our hook into that stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch here directly so here at the end we are not going to have a one single crochet but we will have a slip stitch here on top of your this single crochet and here it is this is the end of your round number two now for your round number three we will start building our pattern here so for that one chain up three one two and three yarn over and go to that same stitch same single crochet insert your hook into that same stitch and grab a yarn and have one double crochet so here chain three will count as your first double crochet and this is your second double crochet and your work will look like this now we will go down into this space this one so here if you can clearly see this is your single crochet of your round number two we will we have our this chain three and one double crochet here on top of this single crochet so we will go down to the single crochet into this space here so we will go in this space and yarn over 
and go down to this single crochet here and insert your hook into this space and grab your yarn and here you're gonna have three loops on your hook now yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only and now we will skip our next three stitches so it's one two and three we are gonna skip our next three stitches and we will go to this one single crochet now here this is your single crochet we will not go to this single crochet on top of the single crochet we will go down to this single crochet so we will again insert our hook into this space here where we have made our this single crochet so just yarn over and insert your hook into that space here and grab your yarn and now you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only and now you're gonna have three loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops here now this is your single crochet so this is your single crochet this one we have already worked below the single crochet so we have already worked in here on top of the single crochet here we're gonna have another three double crochets so for that one yarn over go to this single crochet and insert your hook like this and have three double crochets here so it's one two and three here now again we will go to this space so yarn over and go to this space where we have made this longer double crochet insert your hook into this space grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only now we will skip over this next three stitches three double crochets and we will be here on this single crochet so we will go down to the single crochet on this space yarn over insert your hook into this space grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only and you're gonna have three loops on your hook now so yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops and again now we will work on this single crochet on top of the single crochet so here we're gonna have three double crochets so it's one two and three and now we're gonna repeat our this pattern all the way around on this round round number three so again for that one yarn over and we will go into this space below the single crochet insert your hook grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only yarn over for one more time skip your next three stitches and go to the single crochet go down to the single crochet insert your hook grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only now yarn over and spool your yarn through three loops and now here on top of the single crochet you're gonna have three double crochets it's one two and three and now keep on repeating this pattern until the end of this round and i'm going to meet you here so keep on repeating this pattern and i'm going to meet you at the end of this round round number three and here it is i'm here i've got my this last three double crochets of my round number three and now i will yarn over and i will go down below to this single crochet here and we'll grab the yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through Two loops only and now again we're gonna skip over this last three stitches one two and three we're gonna skip over this last three stitches and now yarn over and go to this space here this is your first single crochet of your round number two so here we will go again into that same space where we have started over this longer uh, double crochet and we will grab the yarn from there and here you're gonna have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only and now you're going to have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops and now yarn over and go to that same space here this where you have made your this slip stitch for your round number three so this is your same stitch where you made your slip stitch and this chain three and then another double crochet so we will go to that same space same stitch and insert your hook one more time into that same space and grab your yarn and have your last double crochet here because here you're going to need three stitches three double crochets so we got our first two stitches and this is your last stitch so in total we got over this three stitches now go to this chain three space and insert your hook and grab a yarn and here you're gonna have your slip stitch and that's how we're gonna finish over this round round number three and it looks like this here now for your round number four 
chain one and now we will go to this three double crochets at the back so we will go on this third second double crochet out of this three double crochets this is your second double crochet and we will work on this stitch here here it is we will work on this stitch this one so this is your uh, round number two and here after you this chain one yarn over and go to this this three double crochets and take the second double crochet the middle double crochet here insert your hook into this middle double crochet here like this and grab your yarn here and you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only and now you're gonna have two loops on your hook now yarn over again and we will skip over this stitches here and we will go to this round number two now here again you can find your this three double crochets we are going to go to this middle double crochet the second double crochet here so after this one skip your this uh, pattern and go to this next pattern and find your this middle double crochet here yarn over and go to this second double crochet from here and grab your yarn here and now you're going to have four loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only and now you're going to have three loops on your hook so yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops here now here this is your longer double crochet on your round number three so we will work on this stitch so here on this stitch we're going to have three double crochet so for that one yarn over insert your hook into this stitch and have three double crochets here so it's one two and three again yarn over and we will go again into that same space where you have made your this longer double crochet into over this middle double crochet of this pattern of our this round number two so this one onto this second double crochet insert your hook again into that same stitch and grab your yarn and you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops now you're gonna have two loops on your hook now skip your next three double crochets one two and three skip all these three stitches and you will be here on this longer double crochet now down this longer double crochet you will find your this pattern this three double crochets go to this middle double crochet the second double crochet yarn over and insert your hook into this double crochet the middle one and grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only and now you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops again you are here on this double crochet this longer double crochet you are here so yarn over and have your three double crochets here so it's one two and three again yarn over and go to that same stitch this middle double crochet insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn and you're gonna have your longer double crochet here and yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops here it is and now skip your next three double crochets one two and three and that's going to be your longer double crochet here now just down to this longer double crochet you will find your this double crochet of your round number two so yarn over and go to this stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only yarn over and spool your yarn through three loops all three loops and here it is you're going to find your this longer double crochet just on top of this so here have three double crochet sets one two and three here it is and this is your pattern now keep on repeating this pattern until the end of this round and i'm going to meet you somewhere at the end and here if you will count all of your rows will have exact number of stitches so even for your round number three you're going to have your 28 stitches uh, for this round number four again you're going to have your 28 stitches so if you will count your number of stitches that's going to be the same number of stitches whatsoever number you have been working on i'm working on this 28 stitches so i'm going to have uh, exact 28 stitches on my each round and i'm going to meet you at the end of this round somewhere here so keep on repeating your pattern so here it is i'm at the end of my round number four and now i've got my this last three double crochets here and now yarn over and i will go to this same stitch and will insert my hook into my that's the same stitch and will grab the yarn and i'm gonna have a longer double crochet here so yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only and we're not gonna finish our stitch here so we're gonna leave 
these two loops on our hook and now we will skip our next three stitches so it's one two and three skip your this next three double crochets and you will be here on this longer double crochet now here on top of this longer double crochet sorry on down below this stitch is already taken remember we have taken this stitch while starting up our this round round number four so we have already take the stitch yarn over and insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops only and now you're going to have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops here it is and for your last three double crochets here it is this is your stitch this is your previously longer double crochet so this is your stitch and here on top of the stitch we're going to have our three double crochets so it's one two and three and this is our last three double crochets we're going to insert our hook into the upper this first stitch and grab a yarn and have one slip stitch here and that's how we're going to finish our this round round number four and it looks like this and now we're going to repeat our round number three and round number four for our round number five and six so again for your round number five we're going to repeat our round number three so for that one as we have our this slip stitch here chain up three one two and three yarn over and go to the same stitch and have one double crochet here now yarn over and go down here at this space so here we will go to this space remember this is your chain three of your round number three this is your chain three of your round number three and we will go to this this space where you have made your slip stitch of your round number three so this is the space this is the stitch where you have made your this slip stitch and we will take this stitch here so for that one yarn over and insert your hook into this stitch here and grab your yarn and here you're gonna have a longer double crochet and you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only leave the stitch here yarn over and skip your next three double crochets so it's one two and three skip your this three stitches you will be here on this longer double crochet just down to this stitch you will find your pattern and this is your three double crochets of your round number three so here take this second the middle stitch yarn over go to the stitch insert your hook into the stitch grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only yarn over and pull your yarn through three loops yarn over and go to this longer double crochet and have three double crochets here so it's one two and three and now keep on repeating this pattern so keep on repeating your round number three here for your pattern and i'm going to meet you after my this round round number five with my 28 stitches and i will tell you what to do on round number six and here this i'm at the end of my round number five and now to finish our round number five yarn over and go to this same space grab a yarn and have your this longer double crochet do not finish your stitch and skip your next three stitches one two and three and we will be here so here we have already started our stitch yarn over and insert your hook into this slip stitch of your round number three and grab a yarn that's gonna be a little difficult it's gonna be all right here it is yarn over and pull a yarn through two loops only now yarn over and pull a yarn through all three loops and here it is now yarn over and go to this same stitch where you have made your this slip stitch and insert your hook and grab a yarn and have one double crochet here like this and this is the end of your round number five and now to finish up we will insert our hook into over this chain three we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch and here it is this is the end of your round number five now for your round number six again chain one and we will go at the back and we will have this pattern this three double crochets so yarn over and insert your hook into the middle double crochet the second double crochet and grab your yarn and have one longer double crochet here yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only do not finish your stitch yarn over and go to this next stitch so skip your this one double crochet go to this next longer double crochet just down below to this longer double crochet you will find your this pattern and you will have this three double crochets so take the second double crochet insert your hook yarn over and grab your yarn and you're going to have 
three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops yarn over go to this long double crochet and have three double crochets here so it's one two and three and here repeat your round number four for this round number six keep on repeating your pattern and i'm gonna meet you at the end and here this i'm at the end of my round number six and for that one i will yarn over and we'll go to this same stitch and we'll grab the yarn yarn over and pull the yarn through two loops and now i will skip my this next three stitches one two and three and and i will be here so just down to this stitch i will go to i will take this stitch where i've already worked on and i will grab the yarn and will make my this longer double crochet and yarn over and go to that stitch that longer double crochet and have your three double crochets here so that's three double crochets here it's one two and three here it is we'll finish over this stitch and we will go to this first stitch this is our first stitch insert your hook into this first stitch grab your yarn and have one slip stitch and this is the end of your round number six for your round number seven we're going to repeat our round number three here but we will skip over some of the stitches because we wanted to create this loop for thumb so for that one just repeat your round number three here so here chain up three one two and three yarn over go to that same stitch and have your double crochet here yarn over go down and we will take this slip stitch here so into this stitch and grab the yarn and that's going to be a longer double crochet so yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only now skip your next three stitches one two and three yarn over you will be here on this longer double crochet so just below this longer double crochet you're going to find your this double crochet insert your hook grab your yarn have your longer double crochet here you're going to attach this two double crochets so yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops yarn over and go to this longer double crochet and have your three double crochets here so one two and three here now again repeat your pattern so yarn over go to the same stitch grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn again skip your next three stitches one two and three and go to this double crochet here yarn over insert your hook into this double crochet grab your yarn and have one longer double crochet and into this longer double crochet have three double crochet so it's one two and three now again i will repeat the pattern so for that one yarn over and go to this double crochet grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over skip your next three double crochets one two and three and you will be here so skip your this stitch you will go down below and you will find your this double crochet and have one double crochet here we're gonna attach these two double crochets here and here on top of this double crochet we're gonna have three double crochets so it's one two and three here it is here now we will create a thumb so for that one here we are here yarn over and insert your hook into this stitch grab your yarn and you're gonna have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only and now instead of skipping over this three stitches three double crochets we will skip over this six double crochets six stitches so it's one two and three and one two and three it could be seven stitches because we are not going to work on this one we will take this double crochet so here as we have already worked on this longer double crochet and we haven't finished our stitch here we got over this two loops here skip your next three stitches one sorry one two and three this is your longer double crochet we will skip over this longer double crochet as well and we will skip our next three double crochet so it's one two and three so in total we are going to skip over seven stitches and we will be here on this second longer double crochet just down below you will find your stitch so yarn over and insert your hook into this stitch and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only and here you're gonna have three loops on your hook so yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops creating your thumb area here here it is now we will repeat our 
pattern so as we have our this longer double crochet here on top of this double crochet we're gonna have our three double crochet so it's one two and three here it is now keep on repeating this pattern and my total number of stitches for this round round number seven i'm gonna have 24 stitches because we have skipped over this six stitches here so this stitches will count as a four stitches so here total number of stitches will be 24 for this round round number seven so if you are working on some other uh, number of stitches if you are working for a medium size or a large size and you're skipping your this stitches just minus your four stitches and you're gonna have the exact number of stitches minus four so here i'm gonna have my 24 stitches and i'm gonna meet you after that so just keep on repeating this pattern and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is this is the end of my round number seven and now for the round number eight we are going to repeat our round number four so again chain one and go to this back pattern and yarn over and insert your hook into this middle double crochet and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops only yarn over skip your this one stitch and down to this one longer double crochet you will find your this next pattern just next to this one and insert your hook into this double crochet the middle double crochet grab your yarn yarn over and spool your yarn through all three loops yarn over go to this longer double crochet and have three double crochets here it's one two and three and now keep on repeating this pattern until here and i will tell you what to do on this thumb area this is the thumb area so here we have already uh, done this longer double crochet now yarn over skip your next three stitches one two and three and go to this space here so here you're going to insert your hook into this area into this space grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops you're going to have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through all three loops here it is and now yarn over and insert your hook into this same space and grab your yarn so here it is insert your hook into this same space and grab your yarn and here you're gonna have three double crochets so it's one two and three here now yarn over and insert your hook again into that same space and grab your yarn yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and go to this next pattern and repeat your pattern here three double crochets here so it's one two and three here it is so your pattern will look like this and keep on repeating this pattern until your required length and i'm gonna go up to my round number 12 here so this is my round number eight and i'm gonna go until my round number 12 so it's totally up to you if you are making this hand gloves in a medium size or a large size you can have as many rounds as you want so here i have worked until my round number 12 but if you want to go further and if you want to add up some rounds and if you want to cut down some rounds it's totally up to you you can have your length so just choose your length and i'm gonna go up to my round number 12 and i'm gonna meet you after my round number 12 and here it is after my round number 12 it looks like this and now here i'm gonna cut my yarn and i will secure my this last stitch and here we will have our needle and here it is this is our last work stitch this one here this one so we will go to this next stitch insert your needle like this and just grab your yarn insert your needle into this in between these two loops here into this last work stitch and i'm just going to take out my needle from the back covering up my this previous stitch and here it is this is your nicely kneaded stitch and there will be no flaws on your work and here it is it's all done now just have this one at the back and hide your end inside 
have one little knot here so that your yarn will be nice and secure get it and now hide this one in and i'm gonna meet you after that and here it is our hand gloves is ready and it looks like this both of them here it is and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye